The Adventures of Elongus Dongus has been an exciting and fun one every step of the way, and I enjoyed it with you guys, but unfortunately, all good things come to an end, and this is where his story ends, right? He no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm messing with you. Oh my gosh, you idiot. You actually fell for it? Oh my god, look at yourself. No, I'm just kidding, guys. This story has a long way to go. Again, I want to try to conquer all, if if not most, of the world of Calradia. So, uh, this story is probably not going to end anytime soon. Now, Elongus Dongus is known for his big brain tactics f1 f3 on the battlefield but he doesn't really have the skills in terms of civil management that is why he has amazing advisors like you who are leaving fantastic comments in the comment section so i'm gonna take your advice guys we're gonna do some civil management here make sure the people we rule are happy and fruitful and fight for us and we're strong and we're making money uh, so the first thing we're going to do in today's episode is manage our properties, okay? Property management 101. So we're at our newest city, which is uh, Huzin Falak. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. But we're, we're here, and you guys said, hey, cancel all buildings. So I've never really been good at civil management in this game, mostly because I focus on fighting and killing and destroying and convincing other lords to join me. So all the advice you guys gave me, it's just perfect. It's so helpful and I'm excited to see how we can turn this around. So the first thing I'm doing is making sure festival and games is on uh, or, or we're, we're, you know, we're having festivals, we're having games because we're gonna increase the settlement loyalty that way because it's at negative four right now. We're also going to add a governor uh, this is our engineer now right now he's in our army and the reason he's in our army is to kind of help us build siege equipment a little bit faster but now that i look at him he would be the perfect governor for the city why because he's from Azerai, so he's of the you know he, he'll be governing his own people people like that um while he's in here he's faster building production plus 20 percent he almost makes a better governor than a commander, so I think this is going to be great. He'll also get all these other perks like ranged troops, 30% more security, uh, settlement pr provides plus one extra catapult at the beginning of the siege, 25% increased build speed for uh, castle projects, govern settlements have increased militia recruitment by 0.5 per day. So these are all really good. So I'm going to go ahead and assign him as governor and right away that's instantly going to improve our city. Now, as of right now, our security is at zero. It is going to change to 0 0.04. Still very low. Uh, I don't know necessarily how to fix that. I think, well, first off, nearby hideout. We should probably clear out the enemy hideouts or bandit hideouts. Prosperity is very low, which affects the security, and also renowned marksmen. Uh, we don't have, I guess we have some renowned marksmen, but maybe just adding more to the garrison will improve security, so we should probably do that. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention in the intro, this is with the newest patch that just came out. In this patch, I don't know everything that they added, but I do know that they added cutscenes and the economy is a little bit different in terms of workshops. If we look at our income, it's actually really good now. I don't know if, if it's from the update or just over time. Look at our workshop income, 1,100. What? That's so good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clear out this hideout while we are here. We might as well clear it out. I'm also going to visit my castle after we clear out the hideout so we can manage the castle and make sure this one is also doing well. Okay guys, and once again, I always forget to switch out my my secondary here. I, it's always better to have like a, like a sword or a club or a one-handed weapon, but we do have my bow. So I'm gonna very gladly shoot at the haters, bro. Shoot at the haters, you know? Ow. So this hideout isn't actually that strong. No, D come on. D he died too, I killed him. I hate that, I hate that so much. Sit down, eat dirt. So I went ahead and just picked up a, uh, a sword on the ground. I don't think it's gonna be that great of a weapon, but it's better than having a spear when we face the boss. Knock, knock, it's housekeeping. Just kidding, guys, I'm death and I'm here to kill you. 
All right, get out of here. All right, this looks like the last guy. And don't you ever... Oh, oh boy. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> he's got a big weapon. He's got the glaive here. So I just got to take my time here. I'm only doing a little bit of damage because of my uh, sword. My Oh, okay, that works. Huzzah! So the only casualty or death was <laughs> from me. I killed him. He, I'm sorry. He got in my way. It was an accident. And yeah, we'll go ahead and take the prisoners. We can convert them into soldiers uh, over time and, of course, the loot. So there you go, guys. We cleared out the hideout. That should help the uh, the city a little bit there. And now let's head over to our castle. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. No, no, no. I have a bunch of militia troops I need to drop off here at the garrison. So let's do that first. And by the way, we're making 1,300 gold per day. Wow, we wow. Again, I want to kind of stick with that all horse army and just have, you know, the standard foot troop to be the garrison forces. I'll also take all the horse troops from the garrison and put them in my army, kind of trade them. Okay, so I removed all the infantry out of my army. I added some horse archers, but I didn't take them all because there's some really good ones in here and I'm sure it's making the city happy seeing these elite soldiers, you know, guard the city. So I'm gonna leave them in there for now. If I need them later, I can always come back and take them. And now that we added those troops, already our security is plus one. Look at the change in security right now. That's fantastic. Our loyalty is still negative three, but I think over time, once security goes up, uh, eventually uh, they will start to be more loyal. It's just gonna take some time. So now we can head back to the castle and try to manage the castle a little bit better. What is this? Wait, is this a rebel lord? He's the rebels? Oh, no, 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 no. Why are you happy? Can, can I kill this man? I have been chosen by the people of Huzin, Huzin Folk to lead them in their struggle against tyranny. Bro, tyranny? You want to see some tyranny? I'll give you some tyranny. So I don't expect their army to be very good. Uh, they have 8 cav, 50 infantry, and I can't tell how many archers they have because the infantry number is covering it. So uh, it looks like 40? Yeah, they have 40 archers. Wow, that's a that's actually a pretty scary amount of archers. That's all right. We should be able to crush this army. I don't really know what to do about this guy. Should I execute him? Should I let him go free? I'm not sure. But I'm certainly going to kill his men. That is for sure. So we killed off his cab right there. Oh, no, he still has some cab, but... Yeah, my army's doing wonders right now. We're fighting in the marsh here. It's a little marshy. It's not great for horse archers, but it's not too much of a big deal because we already we already have such a huge advantage over them. Oh, sit down and shut up, you stupid whore. Wow, I really shouldn't have said that. It's very disrespectful to the enemy. I should just kill him. <laughs> sit down and shut up. My army is doing wonders here, guys. I mean, just absolutely doing wonders. I'm going to go ahead and charge in my cav. They're going to finish up the uh, infantry. We finished up all of their cav. And it looks like they got their first kill. But it wasn't even a true kill. They just wounded my uh, my troops there a little bit. Looks like you're breaking now. Are you breaking good, sir? Let me get some archery practice. Thank you. All right, guys. There we go. We won. The infantry, look how look how deep this this pretty deep. I mean, that's a smart strategy from the enemy to to post up in the water, but it wasn't enough. So we got three wounded. Nobody died. We gained a bunch of renown and influence. So all good here. So I don't really know what to do with this guy. Uh, he is the leader of the rebels, which most of the time, I mean. <laughs> I could consider him a traitor, but I just took the city. I, he's really just an extension of the Azurai. I'm gonna kill him with kindness. I'm gonna, <laughs> you guys probably thought, whoa, kill him, like, hold on. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna kill him, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him go. And hopefully, 
that improves the relation with the city. I doubt it will, but hey, whatever. It's something. Also, we got a ton of prisoners here, which again, I'll gladly convert into my own soldiers and then, uh, you know, put them into garrisons. But unfortunately, we don't have enough space, so I'll just take what I can and let the others go free. And of course, take their loot. Now, we did level up after the battle. Our leadership has increased. Let's see what we can do here to improve our current situation. So, I think I'm going to take Heroic Leader plus one town loyalty per day. Does this only count, though? I'm not sure about the mechanics here. Does this only count if I'm a governor? Can I be a governor of a city? Can, is that possible? I don't really know. But I'm going to go with this anyways because it's plus one town loyalty per day. All right, so we made it to the castle. Let's go ahead and manage the garrison. Or not the garrison, I'm sorry. Manage the, manage the castle. Oh my gosh, our loyalty is at 30. Now here's the good news. We're gaining uh, loyalty through loyalty drift. Uh, I don't is that the new trait that we got? I, I'm not sure so we are gonna be positive and loyalty soon, but it's very slow So I'm gonna stop all of the construction and turn to festival and games. That's gonna add plus three loyalty That is awesome security is increasing as well. So that's good as well prosperity is at zero we could make my wife i believe my wife is yeah th this is an empire castle right so if i make my wife governor you know what i'll just go ahead and make to see the swift the governor because our loyalty is already plus three loyalty is not a problem it might maybe it'll bring it down which is possible but she does add some perks here like Garrison wages are 5% less. Garrison wages are decreased by 20% for castles. Range troops and governed settlements. Garrison provide 20% more security. Increase security of the settlement settlement you govern by plus one per day. That's gonna increase the security a ton. I think that's I think that's good. All right, well, there goes city management. Now, guys, since we have some space in the army, it's time to recruit some suckers. I mean, uh, I mean brave souls that will fight for a are you is this another rebel force? Guys, look at this. A hunt. These rebels got to go. I'm starting to think we got to kill these guys. Oh, I'm going for them. Oh, you know I'm going for them. Now, this battle is going to be a bit more uh, challenging because their army is uh, a little bit stronger. They've got a very big army, but wh where are these rebels? They need to go. Oh man, look at the mist on this battlefield. It looks awesome. I do like the, uh, I do like, I, I, the game is getting better in terms of the battlefields. And I like how I just casually killed that guy. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, I'm not, again, not too worried about the battle. I think this one's going to play out just fine. Um, it's just, it's going to have a lot of infantry and archers, which, you know, really the biggest threat is enemy cav. As long as we don't have to deal with enemy cav, we're fine. But I don't know, like, what to do about these rebels. I, I don't know if killing their armies does anything. Uh, like, does it prevent the rioting? Like, does it... I don't know. I, I don't know. I, mean, I, don't, I just don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about right now. So, for now, I'm just going to hunt down these enemy rebel armies whenever I see them. And hope that it kind of suppresses the rebellion. Uh, this unwanted rebellion. Hey, what are you doing? Don't don't harass my archer. Ah, uh, man, you gotta respect the camel riders. That might be the enemy lord. Oh wow, I think the enemy's making a huge mistake right now. He's got his uh, he he kind of had his archers separated from his infantry. So let's kind of go in with my cav. I'm gonna tell the cav to just charge in there for a little bit. Kill these guys silence their bows and then have them follow me i don't know guys i'm feeling pretty pretty confident with this army here out in the open field i mean this battle was supposed to be way closer than they predicted and it's not close at all oh their troops are scattering this is the end this is the end for them yes so we did lose four troops, but, you know, that's not that much considering how big their army was. And look at the renown and influence. So once again, I'm going to let them go free. I, again, I don't know if this is the best thing to do, but 
Uh, hopefully the rebels realize like, hey, you know, actually he's not that bad of a guy. You know, he's he's okay. He keeps killing in our, our armies and, and letting us go. You would hope eventually like the men that fight for these guys are like, hey, you know, uh, we're dying. You're not. I'm kind of over this rebellion. So another rebel army destroyed. Let's go ahead and take all the loot that we've gained through those battles and sell them at the closest city. Oh, and we leveled up, our riding skill increased. And of course, naturally, we're gonna go with Horse Archer. And oh my gosh, we're bringing home the bacon today. 17,000 gold from all that loot. That is a lot of money. That's almost, that's almost like all of the money we have now. That's, that's really helpful. Thank goodness. Okay, so now that we've sold our loot, we made some good money. Uh, I think we should go ahead and recruit our army to full strength and prepare for- Oh, hey! Did you see that? Did you guys see that? Clan rebel faction destroyed. Maybe, was it destroyed or maybe they just, you know, parted their ways. They saw that the rebellion was futile and hopefully that calms the city down a little bit. I don't know if that's an actual mechanic, but the rebel army, the rebel faction that formed from the city destroyed. You would think that would kind of calm the people down a bit. And again, guys, we're going to recruit everyone here. And all the infantry that we uh, recruit, I'm just going to send over to uh, the garrison force. Send over to the garrison force and continue to improve the security of uh, the, the city that we have. So we maxed out our army, got a lot of infantry that we can add to the garrison, which is perfect. Let's look at managed town and just see like the difference now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, our loyalty is almost, almost positive. So that's awesome, that's only gotten better over time. Everything looks really good here, guys. Our prosperity is increasing, construction in increasing, security increasing, garrison. Everything looks good. The only thing that we need to continue to work on is loyalty. And the more we get our security up, the higher their loyalty will, will go. Uh, so we just got to keep we got to keep adding more troops to the garrison and this city's going to be a poppin. All right. So now the garrison is at 108. 108 uh, we can have up to 500 troops so you can see that this city can hold quite a lot uh, and it's just gonna take time but yeah I think this is a great start let's check out this security now I'll also put 3,000 in, in here uh, I don't know if that helps at all yeah that actually helps quite a bit so adding some reserve gold in there help the stats a little bit there that's nice so I know this is not the most riveting of gameplay. I kind of do enjoy the city management stuff because I never, you know, I, I'm not, I never really uh, dabbled too much into it, but it is fun to take a breather from the battles and, uh, you know, just kind of doing other stuff like managing your town. So once again, we maxed out our army. We recruited both horse archer and infantry, and I'm going to continue to do this process until we have full horse archers. Now we've gotten their force up to 125 let's check the gears or the security and see how that looks oh look at this guy oh wait negative 113 okay we're getting there guys security is slowly going up the higher security goes up the higher the loyalty and then guys we're gonna do it all over again let's go recruit well after a good couple minutes of recruiting troops we've pretty much gotten our army maxed out it's we i think we could get a couple more troops in in the army but it's pretty much all horse archers and melee cav and then we added a bunch of uh troops to the garrison we're at 142 uh, which is a pretty good amount. Uh, there's also some horse archers in here. I'm just going to leave in there for now. Uh, so that has greatly increased our uh, security. Which you can see it's at 26 now. It's continuing to rise. My only concern is food. It's now negative. Uh, it's negative 7. Because our prosperity is so bad. Also our garrison is also causing a little bit of drain on the food department. I don't necessarily know what to do about that. I'm hoping that... Over time, our prosperity will grow when security grows, though I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I wonder if we just kind of throw more money in. I in, uh, didn't really do anything, did it? Okay. 
Well, it, the good news is our loyalty is positive, so that's going to go up. Maybe once that's positive, we can, uh, you know, once it's more positive, we can switch and do some sort of, like, irrigation to increase growth and food. So with this city kind of done for now, let's go back to our castle and check how the castle is performing. Well, we're at the castle, and things are looking good. Our loyalty is going up by 0.4. Security is almost 100. So that's really awesome and that's going up as well construction going up prosperity not changing uh but everything looks good here so and i'll go ahead and just put some some resources in there that's going to help with construction a bit uh but until this loyalty gets to 90 we're not going to do anything until you know we're not going to build anything we just got to wait yeah we got to wait for festival and games to get us up to a higher uh loyalty now i'm ready for war my army is almost full of troops i'll go ahead and recruit some more forces really quick but yeah i'm ready for war guys there we go 124 our maxed out army size right now i am so ready two thousand years later i need some war i need some war and war would be nice. Wow, we have a problem on our hands. I'm thinking food and festival is causing some issues with food. Because, um, man, and our loyalty is now negative because of the food crisis. So, maybe irrigation would help? Or, I don't know. So, I did some research to, to see like what we can do to get our food up. Online, they said try to get your granary to level three. That's just not going to be an option because our loyalty is so low. They're not going to build, right? They said put money in res in your reserve. We did that. Uh, but they also said you could give food to the city, uh, to the vendors, and they take some of the food from there. So I guess what I'll do is I will go buy like a ton of grain and then trade it. Uh, to the city and hope that it helps i, I don't know i'm kind of desperate at this point so we're we're out of town here uh they focus on grain it's pretty cheap here so i'm gonna buy all of their grain which is about 163 i'm gonna take that grain and then sell it to the city and hope that helps with the food situation this is a bit of an experiment for me maybe this will work maybe you already know but for me i don't really know and i hope it, i'm hoping this helps a little bit oh here's another city where we can buy even more grain i'll go ahead and do that so let's just go here buy product yeah oh they've got a lot so oh and it's super cheap we're gonna be carrying too much but that's okay because uh we're right here we don't have to go far so let's take our grain and go ahead and give it all to them. We'll get 4,000 gold for it, though. This isn't about the money. It's about them getting food. And yeah, that actually did help. Their food is now negative 7, which is not great. It, maybe it helped. Maybe it didn't. Because uh, maybe because uh, prosperity or irrigation is on, which, which helps with uh, city growth. Maybe that's why it went down. But our loyalty is getting really bad again. Oh, man, this is tough. Our security is going down now as well. Not good, guys. Not good. Oh, my gosh. They have 800 grain here for 9 gold. I'm going to buy it all. It's expensive, but I'm just going to take all that from the city and move it into my city. Whatever I can do to help the food crisis. All right, so before we trade the food, we're at zero food. Okay, we're, things are getting better. Things are getting better. So we're at zero food. We're at negative 0.91. When we sell all the grain, let's see what happens. 800 grain. Here you go. Okay, that did not affect it at all. Uh, it's still negative 0.91. You know, I'm really sorry, guys. I bet some of you guys out there are like, dude, I don't care. I just want to, I, I just want to see you kill things. Well, uh, hopefully a war starts up soon. Whoa, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, things have changed in terms of war. The Azurai were at 80% support. The Southern Empire were at 100%. Now, I want to avoid the Southern Empire because if we attack them, my wife is going to hate me. So I could propose 
we go to war. It looks like most of them, I don't have enough to vote. I've used literally everything. I want to go to war. Maybe we can take some settlements. Here we go, ready? Yes, finally, war, 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 war. Okay, let's have some fun, shall we? Uh, so I don't have a lot of influence. So the only person I'm gonna call to my army is my wife. Ira, you have 90, 95 troops. Hey, it all adds up. We can go ahead and approach this enemy here. He's on the run, though. Look at him. Oh, bro, you afraid? You afraid of me, bro? You afraid of me? Well, you should be. Same old strat, like always, guys. We're gonna just follow. We're gonna follow the horse archers. Or we're gonna we're gonna kill the enemy cab, is what I'm trying to say. Ow. Get him, boys. Get him. The Azurai will fall this day. We are just absolutely crushing them right now. They've gotten a couple kills, but other than that, we are just destroying them. They're already down to one horse archer. Is he leaving the battle? Okay, no. It just, it just looked like he was. Oh, jeez. I completely screwed that up. Whew, okay, I think we've dealt with most of their cab. They still have three cab, but look at my horse. Look at this view over here. Look at the horse archers go. I mean, look at that. Just perfect formation. I'll go ahead and tell my cab to charge. Oh. There you go. Charge. And at this point, their infantry and archers are so depleted. We just need to close in and finish the battle. What are you guys doing? Look at this last guy just putting up a hell of a fight. Oh, and I got the kill. Let's go. Victory. Victory, baby! Let's go! We lost 17 troops, a considerable amount, but it is war, and it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Well, I am once again gonna let them go. Our our charm is at 188 now because of this. Woo! And there's 87 prisoners. I'll take most of them. I'll take all that I can. And look at the leveling up here. Oh my gosh! The loot is juicier than ever, guys. We're doing it, guys. We're killing it. Well, once again, we found another Lord out of position. I'm going to do a little experiment here. We greatly have the advantage against him. I'm a little terrified of doing this, but I might send in the troops. Let's hope. You know what? Just for the sake of experimenting, I'm going to save the game. Okay, because if it just like slaughters all my men because I sent them in without me commanding, I'm going to be pretty upset. Okay, ready? I saved the game. Let's see what happens. How many we're going to lose? Already lost two, three. If it's more than like 10. Okay, three. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And I, I think that gains, it helps us gain tactics points. So losing three troops against, you know, 30 something, whatever. That's not bad at all. I like that. You're free to go. We're at 190 charm and oh, some Azurai peasants. Why not? We can add it to the garrison. Uh, but unfortunately we can't hold any more prisoners. We're, we're already holding too many, uh, some upgrades there. And naturally we will go take your loot. So let's manage the uh, garrison here. I'm going to go ahead and take these awesome horse archers to the army because I'm gonna replace them with the peasants. That might affect security because these troops aren't as good, but at least we're replacing them with something. And uh, now our army is gonna be at 120 out of 127. So we could get a couple more cav units in here, uh, but I think this is pretty good like so. Hey, good news, our food is expected to change to plus 23. That is a lot. So since our food is going to be so positive, I'm going to turn it back to festival and games. And hopefully with those changes, that increases the loyalty and we get this up to 90. In the meantime, I might go take a castle. Let's see how many defenders. 276 defenders. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. It is the faction leader. He has 187 troops. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for my wife to get here. I think together we should be able to defeat him. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. No, no, no. Get in here. Get in here, sweetie. We're going to go kill us. Well, I'm not going to kill him, but I'm going to go fight him. Come here. We're faster than him. Ugh, really? Really? Don't get involved. Why can't I get involved? You guys are fighting together. Okay, okay, okay. 
This is bullcrap. We're gonna oh, get him on a bridge. Longus, I'd wish you peace and prosperity, but of course, I don't want that. Wow, what a jerk. Okay, there is a bridge here that could be a problem. Now, I do think we can cross the river, but we might have to approach this one a little bit different. Oh yeah, here we go. Now, are they gonna come to us? Oh, look at my wife's army. I forgot. Hey, we've got infantry. Cool. So they're actually falling back. It, this one is definitely going to be difficult. I could have waited to fight him to where we weren't on a bridge, but it's all right. It makes it a little bit more interesting, right? All right, let me go see if uh, this water... It looks like... Okay, you know what? It, the bridge doesn't even matter. So I'm going to tell... Because my horse archers can, can run around. It's going to slow them down, but they can go through it. So let's get the har horse archers going. Let's get my infantry, because I have infantry in this army, thanks to my wife. And let's take the my cav. We'll post them up over there. And I'll post the archers up at the very edge here, so they can just pop some shots from the uh, the river riverbed. So once they cross the river, I'm not as concerned. They do have a lot of cav, though, which could be a problem. Let's move the infantry uh, up here. My cav, let's get them over here. They need to help the horse archers. This cav is definitely going to be a problem. So I need to support them the best I can against this calf. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, we're losing a lot of horse archers to this calf. But I've got my calf going in. I'm personally killing a lot myself. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the infantry over here. Uh, calf? Give them hell. All right, there goes my infantry. Probably probably a little too early to send in the infantry, but honestly, guys, I'd rather the infantry die than my horse archers. Oh, we are just crushing them. We are just crushing them right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We're, gonna about, we're about to get us the faction leader here, baby. Baby. Oh, you're getting wrecked, aren't you? Aren't you, Azariah? Oh, yes, you are. Look at you. Just absolutely getting destroyed. Absolutely. Your time has come. I thought we were going to lose a lot more than that. Like, when they charged in their melee cav against my horse archers, I thought for sure that we were going to lose, like, 10, 20 horse archers. Uh, but the infantry charged in, which I didn't expect much from the infantry, but they did a really good job. And I think combined with my melee cav... Uh, easy peasy. There's the victory. We have it. Yes. Yeah. So we did lose 21 troops, but they weren't all horse archers, which is what I was trying to say here. We've, it was my wife's army that lost the most because it was, you know, they don't, they don't have as good as troops. Okay. So I'm not going to let him go free. I'm actually going to take him as prisoner because we can make some good money from him. Uh, and then we're going to take all this delicious loot. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Uh, let's try to get our army numbers up. We do have 15 wounded, uh, but we are pretty light on numbers. So we need to get this up because I do want to try to take some cities. Like if we could take this castle right next to my main city, that would be pretty sweet. So I'm just going to ride around a little bit and recruit some troops Get our, definitely get our army higher than 200. Maybe try to reach like 250 if possible. Also, guys, we got a lot to level up here. This is so exciting. I think I'm going to go with Riding Horde. I'm going to go with Horde Leader. These are all just perfect. Plus 10 party size. Your army loses cohesion 5% slower. And for Leadership... I'm going to go with Famous Commander. Increase renowned gain from battles by 50%. Recruited troops start with bonus experience of 200 XP. Wow. That is absolutely ginormous, guys. Just from that little upgrading there has, has greatly strengthened us. This is so perfect. This is so perfect. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Look at our army sizes now. Holy moly, this is perfect. Look at a thousand troops just rolling in. Okay, let's help out at the siege. Or should we go siege somewhere else? Maybe we should. Maybe we should blitzkrieg them. Oh, okay, let's uh, let's not get caught up by the 600 troops. This is a bit overkill for this one castle, but 
you know what? Why not? We'll help out. And I'll just send my troops in. I'm not too worried about losing too many. Wow, we lost 11. Okay. Uh, maybe for siege battles, I should fight. Uh, because this is pretty bad. 369 men gone. So I'll try to get this castle. I don't think I'll be able to. But uh, for now, we've got a lot of loot. So yeah, let's go, let's go sell this loot over here. Give some time because we have a lot of wounded. We probably need to go ahead and recruit again. Oh my gosh, 24. 4k 24k from all that loot this is this is awesome guys this is going so smoothly here comes another enemy lord let's go let's go catch up to him and try to increase our charm oh wait 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 okay we got some situations here first off it looks like we're gonna catch up to this big army and we're gonna destroy him that's really huge because remember we have the faction leader in our control uh so they're losing this war very quickly um let's see if we can get this castle oh Yes, uh, I'll go ahead and just put 20 influence just to, uh, to try to help. Uh, yeah, okay, boom, another castle under our control, guys. Yes, okay, let's go check out. Oh, first off, let's go help with this battle. I'll just send in the troops again. Hopefully, we don't lose too many. Oh, we didn't lose anybody, perfect. Uh, but let's go to our castle and uh, check it out and see what we can do to improve it. Okay, so loyalty is not terrible but it's something we need to work on so i'm gonna go ahead and stop construction of everything it's gonna increase our loyalty again we want to wait until our loyal loyalty is about 90 i'll go ahead and invest um yeah i'll just uh, we'll do like 5,000. and while we're here let's check our city out again the loyalty is getting better over there okay yeah m uh, loyalty is still positive food is still very positive Everything looks good over here, can't complain. Again, we wanna get this to 90, so it's gonna take some time, but until then, let's go to war. Since we uh, just destroyed a big army, I think it's safe to say that we can probably leave this castle here, but I'm just gonna recruit from some of these nearby cities really fast and then get back to the front line and protect our new territory. All right, so recruited some troops. We're at 212, we got six wounded, so it should get close to 220, not bad. I, I like that number. And it looks like they're sieging another castle over there, so we should probably go over there and help out. This time, I'm not gonna auto-resolve that battle. I'm gonna fight in it. And we'll go ahead and leave the castle and join this next siege and make sure it goes smoothly. Okay, so we just made the siege. They have 172 troops left. I will certainly attack here, but before we do, let's make sure we actually, uh, we actually do something smart here and change our weapon to the Bone Crusher. Yeah, Bone Crusher. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one to attack. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my troops. Soldiers! Uh, let's just take them all. Everyone! And just tell them to stay back. The reason we're doing that is because, well, I don't want my troops to die. <laughs> it's a pretty cool settlement. It's got this long wall over here. And if you attack this and take it over, it definitely will help out. Hey, hey, don't stick your head through there. Serious? Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. Yeah, let's uh, let's move you over here because I need to shoot through that. Hey, don't shoot. Okay, put your head through there. They're shooting at you. Dude, oh my. Oh my gosh. Do not shoot at my horse, you scum. Yeah. Man, they're blocking every shot, but... It is oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you see that? What happened? Dude, some sometimes the physics in this game, like, totally just freaks out. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and climb up there. It looks like we're starting to gain control of that, uh, that wall. So let's go out, go up there and have some fun. Now, I don't really expect to get this castle as well. I would love to have it, don't get me wrong. But if they give it to someone else, it's not that bad. Uh, because it can kind of act as like a buffer buffer zone between my territory and the Azerai. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who shot me in the back? Let's keep pushing and killing these archers. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. The bone crusher. Here to crush some bones. They're just running into me, dude. <laughs> where's your where's your where's your army? Why are you or why are you just running into me? Oh, there's some guys up top. 
Oh, that was my last shot. Oh, do they have artillery up there? We should probably, yeah, they do. Let's go clear that out. Hey, hey, stop it. And this guy likes to block, doesn't he? Oh, you better start blocking. Wait, where are you going? You can't, he's like, aha, pulled a Houdini on you. <laughs> you thought I was going downstairs, just kidding. All right, get out, get out of here, get out of here. All right, so we're gonna keep pushing, guys. It looks like finally we got some more enemies here. <laughs> that just like to run into me and not really do anything, which is fine by me. Can you, can you fire? Can you, okay. <laughs> what damage, perfect damage. Hey, I was blocking. I, I just wish that, oh, get wrecked, nerd. All right, there we go, we won. I lost zero troops. We lost six overall. That's how you win a castle battle right there, baby. I'm not sure when or how, but I guess the uh, leader of the Azurai escaped our captivity here. Well, we can get more of his troops as prisoners. Um, that's too bad. I don't, I don't, I guess I missed it where, like, when he escaped. Let's see. If, okay, here we go. Castle, is it going to be ours? No way. No way. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, I mean, like I said, like I said, uh, you know, I can't complain. I can't complain. If they want to come over here and give me the castles, I'm all for it. Now, loyalty is down quite a bit here. That's no surprise. We'll go ahead and stop building everything, and we will do festival and games. Food is good. Loyalty is going to start to go up now, and we're going to make some sweet cash. We'll go ahead and put about five grand into uh, the city. And guys, I'm telling you, this is, it went from like the most boring and nothing happening like episode to the most amazing episode yet. Okay, pretty sweet guys, pretty sweet. At this point, I honestly wouldn't mind having peace because uh, I do have to manage a lot of these cities. And you know, at the beginning of the episode, it was great practice because uh, we learned how to manage our settlements. And I'm still kind of learning, uh, but I'm glad we got some practice because we have now a lot of settlements under our control. And we're gonna be making some buku bucks here. Look at that, averaging 2,000 per day. My goodness, my goodness. Now we are moving very slow. I do have a lot of loot to sell. There is an army headed our way. I might just post up here just wait here for some time. I'm curious. I bet this army is going to head over to the other castle. But it don't matter. It don't. Look how slow. They, even though we're carrying too much. Look how slow they are. They're coming to siege it. I don't think so. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then you're going to get caught out, you stupid ho. You know what? I want to be a part of this. I want to be a part of this. Come here. Okay, we got to be careful here. Let's hope that this is... Okay, good, good. I was making sure the other armies were close enough for reinforcements. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and send in the troops. I don't think we're gonna, oh, we lost one guy, no big deal. Let's just go to the Empire City over here really fast because I feel like our other city needs some time to build up some wealth because we've been selling a lot of loot to it. So let's just go over here and sell our junk. Okay, this is crazy. How much do you think we're gonna make on this, uh, this, this trade deal here with all of our loot? Pause the video. Let me know down in the comments below. Well, there you have it, guys. 10,000 gold. To be honest, I thought it was going to be a little bit more, but 10,000, hey, I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. You know, I'm kind of on the fence if I want to form my own castle. And it would be kind of cool to be a loyal servant of the Khan, but I really like the positioning of all these cities. I mean, seriously, if we formed our own kingdom, we'd have all of this and then, of course, the random castle up here, which we'd probably lose if we went to war with the Khan. But this is a great empire starting location right there. Like, it's just perfect. Oh, they're sieging. Okay. Oh my gosh. The enemy is trying to siege here with 110 men. Are you crazy? I don't even think we're going to need our army, like our infantry. We could probably just win this with just my cav. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, I forgot my lance. Dang it. I forgot to change my weapon. It's, it's okay. It's just going to be a little little less convenient. Oh my gosh, ready? I just can't kill anyone with this thing, man. Might be time for a new weapon. I don't know. Look at the reach, dude. It's awful. And the damage. 
dang it. Like, can I kill anyone? Finally, I got a kill. Because now that we've finished up most of their army, the infantry can come in and finish them off. You know, the Azurai are no pushovers. I mean, if they have, if you face an army with a lot of cav, it's, it's pretty tough because, I mean, that's really the kryptonite of my army is, is, is uh, a lot of enemy cav. And, you know, it's good that we're taking on the Azurai kind of early here because if we can take them out where they're not really a threat anymore, where their armies are weak, uh, we're going to be way better off. They're now down to nine infantry. I'm going to go ahead and get wild here. Nice. And we'll just sit back and enjoy the show as the infantry closes in and finish the job. We won the battle. We lost 25 troops there. Jeez. Not good. But we defended our castle and we have another lord, which we are going to let free. Okay, so you're free to go. I just enjoy fighting you too much. Yeah, that's right. We got 13 troops. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and take them. Uh, also, we got a ransom offer. I guess someone put an enemy lord into one of our cities. Uh, it, that's how we're getting this offer because we don't have an enemy lord in our army. So yeah, I'll accept that easy thousand gold. But we are just steamrolling them right now. I mean, seriously, are we going for this? Are we? Yeah, we're going for a city, guys. Oh, I'm coming to help. Oh, you know I'm coming to help. You know it. Vote for... Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, what is this? Well, that's not good. Um, wow. We're outnumbered by a lot. Um, but the balance of power is pretty even. So what the heck? Um, we have to do this to protect the, the siege. So this is going to be a big battle. Here we go. Um, I'm not sure exactly what to do here. Um, I'm going to put my infantry down here. And then the archers up here. Not a terrible formation. Horse archers here. Actually, I'll move all of my cav over to this flank. You know what? This is what we'll do. Let me take the cav. And I'm going to go challenge. Oh, he has a hundred cav. Oh, no. All right, well, let's just take my cat. I got to slow down. I'm way too fast for him. We're going to try to defeat one flank at a time. So we're going to move to this 50 calf here, and we're going to engage him head on. Here we go. Ah! Get him, boys. Get him, get him, get him. Ah. Come on. Ah. I just can't kill anyone with this stupid... Oh, no. I'm taking too much damage. I can't die here. I feel like if we die, we're screwed. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, no. All right. All right. Cap, follow me. Follow me. All right, follow me. I'm way too wounded. Their archers are chewing us up. All right, so their other cav is charging our infantry. I'll go ahead and charge them in, and I'll come in and support. These guys don't look too good. So I got to be careful here because I am getting low. This is for... My city. Nice job. Get them, guys. Yeah, my infantry is going kind of hard right now. Yes. Dude, I love the lighting of these battles. They look amazing. All right, let, let's get the archers. Where Where's my cav? Do I, okay, I still have 23. That's a pretty good amount. So what I'm going to do is go for their archers because they're undefended right now. There they go. All right, we'll go in and we'll go in and help out. All right, get down there, get down there, kill these guys. Yes, kill their archers. They're out of position. Oh no! Oh, dang it! Oh no, guys, that's okay. I think I think we're gonna be okay. Um, we'll fast forward. 
The horse archers will clean up. Oh, man, we're losing a lot, though. But, you know, it's to be expected. Oh, no, their archers are surviving. Guys, we're barely winning. Are we going to lose this? No, we're going to win. Okay. We did it. We did it. And it's thanks to my elite horse archers that are so good at killing infantry with their glaives. Um, I'll take that. We lost 66 men. That's like half our army. A little less. That's not good, but we gained a ton of renown and influence. All right, let's link up with this army. Uh, we've got, you know, it's not a ton of more troops, but... We're going to link up here and support the siege. So I guess I guess we won't link up with the army, but we'll join the siege. Also, we leveled up in leadership. That's really good. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. Increased party size by five for each town you control. So that pushes our party up to 143. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no. The Sturgeons declare war. Okay. Um, we... Uh oh, my castle's under siege. Oh, no. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make peace. I, I, I think I think now is a good time to make peace because I don't want to lose my castle. And we're at war with the Sturgeons now. We took a lot of territory from the Azurai. I say yes. I say yes. Yes. Make peace. There we go. Boom. So this is going to be a great place to end the episode. Look how slow we are. <laughs> We're just like, we have like carts and carts and carts of loot. Just tons and tons of loot. We're making 2,000 gold per day, guys. This was a huge uh, momentum episode. Uh, pretty soon, I think, um, I, well, first off, we should, we should just get more cities, right? Just continue to get more cities. And then when we do that, uh, eventually we can make our own kingdom. I don't know. Should we make our own kingdom or not? Let me know down in the comments below. Is it going to be worth it to make our own kingdom? Again, let me know down in the comments. All right, we're going to trade. There's 43,000 worth of gold here, so they should be able to buy everything from us. Oh my gosh. 40, 24,000 gold. Look at that. Oh, we're almost at 100K. Oh, yes. All right, let's end this episode properly. We are becoming quite the Lord. We own like, what, I don't know, like what, 3% of Calradia already? Maybe more? I don't know. I, I can't figure it out. But we own a lot. Look at this beautiful palace. This is perfect. And look at deep in thought about what to do. Let me know down in the comments below. Is it time to start our own kingdom or should we wait a little bit longer? Let me know. This has been a lot of fun, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time in, in Calradia.